This video is based on the novel optimization algorithm that is Emperor Penguin Optimizer. In this video, we will try to understand what is this algorithm all about, how it is working and various mathematical models used to represent the Emperor Penguin's behavior, their movements and other activities in this algorithm. So first we will start with introduction. As you can see here, Emperor Penguin Optimizer is a bio-inspired metaheuristic algorithm that is inspired by the behavior of Emperor Penguins. Emperor Penguin Optimizer mimics the huddling behavior of Emperor Penguins. And we can use this algorithm to solve both constraint and unconstrained engineering design problems. As this algorithm mimics the huddling behavior of Emperor Penguins, so first we will try to understand what is the huddling behavior of Emperor Penguins so that we can easily understand what is this algorithm all about and how it is working. As we know, penguins are aquatic flightless birds and also known as water birds. They live in the southern hemisphere and one species of penguins also lives in the north of equator. Penguins spend their 50% life on the land and 50% life in the water. Penguins largest species is known as emperor penguin. They are the heaviest and tallest among all penguin species and both male and female emperor penguins are similar in size. See we have certain features for emperor penguin. Black color feather on head and back, white belly, pale yellow breast and bright yellow patches on ear. Emperor penguin can stay on the water for more than 25 minutes. Now we will try to understand why emperor penguins form huddle. Emperor penguin is the only species that huddle to survive during Antarctic winter. Huddle is used as defense against the cold to survive through tough Antarctic winter. Without huddle, emperor penguins lose their energy and freeze. So huddling is used to conserve energy and maximize temperature so that they can survive through tough Antarctic winter. So they are using here huddle for warmth and protection so that they can survive. In this algorithm, each emperor penguin has equal opportunity to the warmth of the huddle. So as this algorithm mimic the huddling behavior of emperor penguins, now you can see we have four main steps for the huddling behavior of emperor penguins. First we will generate and determine the huddle boundary for Emperor Penguins and after that calculate the temperature profile around the huddle and then determine the distance between the Emperor Penguins and in the end we will find out the effective mover and relocate it. So these are the four main steps that are used to represent the huddling behavior of Emperor Penguins. Now you can see here we have the flow chart for Emperor Penguin Optimizer. First we will start with initial population. So first we will randomly generate the initial population for Emperor Penguins in the search space. And then we will select the initial parameters for this algorithm. After that we will calculate the fitness value for each Emperor Penguin in the current population. And then determine the huddle boundary and then we will calculate the temperature profile around the huddle. After that we will calculate the distance between the emperor penguins and then update each search agent position and after that we will calculate the fitness values and then we will select the best among all and if you got another optimal solution that is best as compared to previous then we will update the optimal solution. After that we will check the stopping criteria. If it is matched then we will return the best optimal solution else we will repeat the loop from the huddle boundary. Now we will try to understand how we can generate and determine the huddle boundary. It is assumed that the emperor penguin huddle is situated on two-dimensional L-shaped polygon plane. And during huddling, emperor penguin position themselves on a polygon shape grid boundary. And as you can see here, each emperor penguin has at least 
two randomly chosen neighbors and in order to find out the huddle boundary first we will determine the wind flow around the huddle now the penguin in the center here you can see this one this penguin have the minimum fitness value among all or we can say this is the best solution among all so other emperor penguins can update their position randomly towards himself and this emperor penguin can update his position toward other penguins in each different positions now we will determine the huddle boundary and in order to determine the huddle boundary we have to determine the wind flow around the huddle as the wind flow is greater than the movement of the penguins so first we will determine the wind flow around the huddle different complex variables are used to determine the randomly generated boundary for example you can see it represents the wind velocity and after that we will calculate the wind force around the huddle and after that we will calculate the temperature profile around the huddle as you know huddle is generated to conserve energy so that we can maximize temperature so that they can survive in the tough antarctic winter so here we will move the emperor penguins toward the west emperor penguins and in this algorithm temperature profile is responsible for two important phases exploration and exploitation process for emperor penguins different position and you can see the mathematical model to calculate the temperature around the huddle so here we will assume that the temperature is zero when the radius of polygon is greater than one and temperature is one when the radius of polygon is less than one and here r is normally distributed random number in the range zero and one so if the polygon radius is greater than one then temperature is zero else it is one and you can see the equation that we can use to calculate the temperature around the huddle here this is the maximum number of iteration x is the current iteration r is the radius of polygon after that we will calculate the distance between ampere penguins Now we will calculate the distance between emperor penguins. So emperor penguins will update their positions according to the current best emperor penguin position. So first we will calculate the distance between the emperor penguins. And mathematically we can compute this using this equation. Here x is the current iteration and this is the position vector of emperor penguin. And px vector represents the best solution or you can say the optimal solution in the current population. And here a and c are the constant that are used to avoid the collision between the search agents or you can say between the penguins. Now you can see here the value for c is the random value that is any normally distributed random value. And for A, you can see here, M is the M is used to maintain the gap between the penguins. As during huddle, we cannot create the huddle that is tight or loose. If huddle is loose, then they will lose their energy and they can freeze. If huddle is tight, then they cannot move. So we need to maintain the gap between the penguins and M is used here to maintain the gap between the penguins. And this is used this is the temperature profile that we computed here and after that you can see this is the social force of penguins that can be computed using this and after that you can see this is the polygon grid accuracy and in the end we will relocate the effective mover here we will update the position of the emperor penguin as we know that we will move the emperor penguins according to the
position of the best solution here you can see this is the emperor penguin next updated position and here we have the optimal solution and you can see the value for a that we will calculate here and after that this is the distance between emperor penguins that we computed here so in the end we will update the position of the emperor penguin and once the effective mover is relocated the huddling behavior of emperor penguin is recomputed for the next iteration and in each iteration the value for the best solution is saved and in the end when stopping criteria is matched we will display the best solution that you obtained now, you can see we have certain steps for emperor penguin optimization algorithm first we will initialize the emperor penguin population randomly in the search space here you can see it represents the position for the each individual that is randomly generated here x is the value for each individual one to population size that is the total number of individuals in the search space after that we will initialize all the important parameters that are required for example temperature radius maximum number of iterations a and c these are the constant that are used to avoid the collision between the penguins so initialize all the important parameters and after that calculate the fitness value for all agents or you can say emperor penguins and then we will determine the boundary of hamper penguins using these two equations calculate the wind flow around the huddle and after that calculate the temperature profile around the huddle and then we will compute the distance between the emperor penguins and after that we will update the position of other emperor penguins and in step 8 if any emperor penguin goes beyond the huddle boundary then improve its position and then in step 9 calculate the fitness values for each updated amper penguin and update new optimal solution position in step 10 if stopping criteria is matched then stop and display the best solution or you can see the optimal solution that you obtained else if stopping criteria is not matched then go to step 5 and repeat this loop Emperor Penguin Optimizer is tested on 44 benchmark function and 7 real life engineering design problems and this algorithm is also compared with 8 optimization algorithm and it provide better results as compared to other. So that's all about this video if you have any question you can comment below and thanks for watching this video.